What's up, Gemini gang? Let me move this. Thank you guys for tuning in, you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling good and refreshed and all that good stuff. Let's see what's going on. All Gemini placements, take a resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, um, check the description box, lovepeacegenesis.com. Y'all know the drill. Thank you for being here. You are appreciated. Y'all already know, okay? Okay, so we have Hawther, we have Kali. Oh, why are these upside down? We have Kali and we have Irene. So what's on top is White Tara, okay? So sensitivity. I did a reading yesterday, a collective reading yesterday that talks about this. So watch the collective reading that I posted yesterday, you guys. Um, check it out, okay? Uh, well, watch the collective reading that I posted on, because I don't, I don't know when you're going to watch this video. Watch the collective reading that I posted on August 14th, okay? Um, we have uh, Ostara here, which is fertility, all right? So this is what I look take for the bottom of the deck, which is receptivity, Hawther. I hope I'm saying her name right. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So, um, that makes sense. <laughs> Get to a place of receiving. I kind of talked about that in the last reading as well. So, White Tara, which is sensitivity. And I talked about um, it being a very sensitive time for a lot of people right now. Uh, so, anyways, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Okay, so this includes movies, music, uh, you know, stuff that's going to get you riled up and have you feeling away. Let me see what the book says. Oh, damn it. I ain't got my glasses, bruh. And, uh... These words here are tiny, so I'm going to do my best, though. <laughs> All right, so message from White Tara. As you've purified your inner world of thoughts, actions, and intentions, it's natural that you seek purity in your outer world as well. Yep, this is to acknowledge your heightened sensitivity. And we talked about this yesterday in the live, too. How I talked about how I was in my feelings a lot very very um highly sensitive right now okay um which is as real as it seems you've stripped away the outer protective layers of unneeded defenses which blocked your psychic and spiritual well awareness i love that now you're on the path of ascension i talked about that yesterday in the reading too which calls for your heightened awareness uh in the collective read yesterday and with this awareness comes new levels of sensitivity to the impure and harsh your body is a trustworthy instrument of measurement uh, of your tolerance level. Steer clear of that which your body signals you to avoid. Take excellent care of your body and it shall serve you well. All right. So other meanings of this card is acknowledge and honor your sensitivity. Take steps to protect yourself from negativity. Avoid chemicals. Steer clear of situations with loud noise, crowds, violent media, and other triggers. Oh, so no more scary movies and things. <laughs> so about the White Tara. And I like to read the abouts in case you want to. Those of you that have altars, if you want to do any um, offerings or whatever the case may be. If you're into that kind of thing, okay. Um, White Tara is an aspect of Tara a female Buddha and Hindu mother creator. To many female face, uh, the many female faces of the Buddha and mother creator are represented as various colors of Tara. White Tara represents purity, maturity, and compassion. The eyes on her hands, feet, and forehead allow her to be aware of all prayers. She helps us to live long and peaceful lives. Here's what's fucking interesting about this. I got I got an aura reading, right? Somebody read my aura and the energy around me. And she told me that my aura was white. That's insane. I'm going to read it to you. Hold on. Let me find it real fast. I hope it ain't going to take a whole lot of time to pull it up. Um, but it's typed out. I'm going to read it to y'all. I'm going to read y'all the, um, the uh, energy that I... Got the energy reading that I got um, a couple days ago, y'all. Okay, so hold on, hold on. 
Okay, so she starts off by saying, your aura is white. White can mean a few things depending on the person, but ultimately I feel like it functions much like a quartz crystal. A white aura amplifies energies around it. It takes in and channels or transforms energies via natural alchemy using uh, into useful tools of manifestation. White auras are extremely attractive. This is because white auras are fair, even balanced, accepting and chameleon like if need be. For you, I'm specifically picking up that you are just at peace with who you are and the life you have created for yourself. To maintain this aura, keep your gratitude and thankfulness for this life you live and the people and things that are in it. To expand this energy, consider charitable works, especially when it comes to giving your time to those in need. A white aura loves a super hydrated body, so water, coconut water, and natural fruit, fruit juices are your best hydrators. Also, intermittent fasting will benefit this aura as well. And then she says, note. You can go to any color aura from here if you wanted. This is part of the alchemy abilities that comes with the white aura. It's a chameleon or shapeshifter, if you will. Plus, you're a Gemini, and Geminis have natural shapeshifter ab abilities if you care to tap into that, you guys. This is literally on my Facebook. Insane. Insane, you guys. All right. Let's see what's going on here. I just thought I'd share that because now I'm curious to see what comes out. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Some of you are in a dark night of the soul where you're getting out of there. You need to get out of there, honey. Six of Cups, the world, the hangman. I just talked about the hangman in the last uh, video. The Eight of Wands here. I'm seeing that high priest is sticking out. Yes. So I feel like some of you may be getting out of a, of a dark night of the soul. Whatever you went through, you had to go through that in order to elevate. Okay. Now, some of you, you may not be in this energy yet. It's just coming. Okay. So you need to kind of brace yourself for this because it may seem kind of tough for you simply because um you might not be used to this energy so if you're not used to being ultra sensitive i feel like it might it might bother you at first and it may come off as sadness when it isn't okay so just make sure that you are um paying very close attention to how you feel because i'm seeing that uh, you have a major enlightening here major 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 enlightening and this goes uh um, and along the lines of the awakening consciousness uh video that i did yesterday for the collective like your conscious something in your conscious is awakening and that's what a part of being becoming more sensitive means because you can't be become more receptive and sensitive and open and not have it all the way through because you're going to you're going to get the good and the bad if that makes sense so if you want to be more intuitive or if you want to be more psychic or more mystic, um, what comes with that is you becoming more sensitive all the way around. So you have to take both sides of the coin, if that makes sense. Because you can't be, you can't have a whole bunch of apathy, right? And be highly intuitive. It, it doesn't work like that. You have to, it, it, it takes all of it. All of it is, is what matters, if that makes sense, you guys. Mm hmm the hierophant that was a lesson whatever dark night of the soul you went through was a lesson the lovers here on the bottom mm. yep you're showing up in the reading and it was it was crucial that you learned this because um then you can move forward you can move on with life king of swords here yeah Ooh, this is a past energy for some of you i'm seeing the three of swords kind of sticking out here and i'm seeing the lovers you may have somebody from your past too that is wanting to um like reconcile you may have to get rid of someone because they are bad for you i knew i knew this was gonna come out and that i knew this was gonna come out and it's funny that I acknowledged it because it was sticking out of the deck like this and I could see it and I knew this. I knew we were going to see this high priestess, you guys. I knew it. The high priestess, <laughs> you are elevating. This is literally intuition, tapped in, tuned in. 
uh, a lot of you guys, your your um, your abilities are increasing. Two of Pentacles here. Your abilities are increasing. The sun, y'all. I love this. This is gonna be specific, though. I don't think this is gonna resonate with everyone. Um, but uh, two of swords here on the bottom. Now the two of swords can be about going within because you see she has a blindfold on. So she's not looking on anything on the outside of her. So I feel like whatever this enlightenment is, Gemini's, is coming from within. Also pay attention to your dreams for some of you. You're being, uh, spirit is communicating with you through your dreams. <sighs> Listen to those downloads too that you get because those are going to help you in the long run. You're elevating uh, Gemini's spiritually, like energetically. And it makes sense why I saw what I saw in the last, in the love reading. Because when you start elevating, everything around you changes. And now at first it seems hard because you're not used to the energy. So it'll, it'll feel like you are going through a depression. It'll feel like you are sad, but that's, that isn't always what it is. I feel like if, if you're not used to being an ultra sensitive person, I feel like you're going to take all feelings and all sensitivity as sadness. And this, and I talked about this yesterday, uh, on the live where I was talking about, I was in my feelings, even cried on the live y'all. I was in tears on the live, but I'm self-aware enough to know that the tears that I was, that I was shedding wasn't sadness. It was just a cleanse. It was just me elevating. It was just me being able to feel um, a lot more than usual. So I feel like you're just being, you're just able to feel a lot more than you usually do. And if it's tears with it, you might think, oh my God, I'm sad. I'm, I'm sad about blah, blah, blah. But you're really not sad, uh, Gemini. You just need to figure out what it is that you're feeling. You may even be picking up on someone else's energy too. I just realized that the Hierophant and the High Priest is here. There's a divine pair. You might be picking up on somebody else's energy too. So if, if you're crying and if you really are sad, quotation marks, if you really are sad, you might be picking up on somebody else's sadness, crying and stuff. You might not even be sad for real. Child, seven of cups here. Child, please. <laughs> Two of Cups, thank you, Spirit. Clarifying, you might be picking up someone on someone else's energy, Gemini's. If you've been sad and crying and not being able to, to get yourself together and not knowing why you feel how you feel, it's because you're picking up on somebody else. Eight of Pentacles, like I said, it ain't you. I don't feel like it's you. Could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, heavy Pisces, uh, Capricorn, Seven of Pentacles, love it. Oh yeah, this is someone else you're picking up in. Uh, seven, seven, seven is gonna be significant. The moon is here. Yeah, somebody is not. Someone's having a hard time, and you're feeling it. Could be more than one energy too. Yep. You're able to tap in, to, and it flips over again. <laughs> Y'all, the high priestess again. Wow, you guys. This is insane. We're seeing the Empress and the Eight of Cups here as well. Yeah. Wow. Gemini's, let me say this. You may need to uh, look up stuff like spiritual awakening. Um, if, if you're not able to purchase sessions right now from a spiritual advisor, I feel like, you know, look up stuff on YouTube because I feel like you really need to look into, um, spiritual, uh, awakenings, um, spiritual upgrades, spiritual level ups. Cause I feel like that's what a lot of you are going through where you think it's stress, where you think it's depression, where you think it's sadness. That's not what it is. It's something else. Now the high priestess is receptive. And it's, this talks about receptivity over here. Matter of fact, let me let me look in the book real fast and see. Um, I'm going to skim through because now I'm curious to see what this is or what this says. Because now I'm seeing a lot of uh, energy of this. Um, some of you are, are vibrating in, in a, a high priestess energy now. Uh, or you're getting there. You're leveling up. 
you're having these these uh, awakenings and you may be feeling people's energies around you and you might be confusing it as your own. So you have to learn how to navigate that, okay? Uh, let me see what page is this on. I could have sworn I just had it. There we go. Oop, and it's 19. Mm, mm, mm. Number 19 reduces to, uh, number 19 is number one, one and, a one and a nine, which is a, which is beginnings and ending. But 19 reduces to a 10, uh, which is also beginning and endings, okay? So allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Exactly. And I feel like this, your intuition is increasing. And so with that comes with, uh, with extra ultra heightened sensitivity. Okay. So you just have to learn how to um, navigate it. All right. So uh, you are, if you have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need, yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy. It means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. So we're talking about that grace and gratitude again. Um, so heavy, heavy gratitude energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by, by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day. Exactly. Um, gratitude journals are beneficial for that. Okay. Whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one, simply say thank you for each gift, and you know that they are filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong, okay? So, extra meaning to this card is be still and listen. That's the high priestess here. Release guilt about receiving. Ooh, I need to hear that one. <laughs> Ask for help. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, yeah, that asking for help and receiving mm. increased psychic awareness. I told you, some of you guys, just, your uh, your abilities are increasing. Um, know that you're in a learning cycle. Told you, I told you, healing is occurring. Yep, be more in your feminine energy. Ooh, but it also says a child conception, pregnancy, or birth. Didn't we just see that empress? Ooh, child. Uh including adoption or favorable custody arrangements or issues in your life. Okay. So whoever that resonates with. Mm, I've been seeing that that uh that that uh conception stuff for you guys for quite some time. So yeah, go on be careful with that one. Um Gemini's and if that's what you want, you you got it. It's here. All right, but yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you are in this space of elevating um your awareness is increasing your uh your sensitivity is increasing your consciousness level is increasing and so it's it's very uncomfortable for some of you i feel like because you're not used to it you're not used to being sensitive you've been able to hold in and harbor your feelings and i feel like you're having it's, it's harder for you to hold in your feelings and that is uh part of elevation okay so don't hold in anything and if you feel like crying cry if you feel like you know, telling somebody off, do it, okay? <laughs> but also, a gratitude journal is going to be some of y'all's homework. If you don't have that, uh, get you a gratitude journal. Because I have one. I have several, actually. And when they fill up, I toss them. I have this big bin. Like I said in the live yesterday, I have this big bin of journals. Also, the Patre I have my Patreon up. Um, it's mainly learning. It's, it's mainly uh, tarot videos up right now. But, you know, so you don't have to sign up right now if you're not interested in learning tarot. But um, I will be adding all kind of stuff on the, the Patreon. I mean, it's going to be all kind of shit. So uh, just stay tuned, you guys. <laughs> Y'all, some of you, oh, be careful. Look at this what's on the bottom. Be careful now. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> okay, Ooh. If you suspect that you are or you then got somebody, then, you know, yeah, that's your confirmation. Okay, so we have the train, which is Gemini. This is moving on. Life's journey, new endeavor, going away one direction. On tr you're on track, focus on time, keep going forward, going with the flow. I love that. Heavy, heavy um, high priestess energy, uh, inflexible, steady climb, and no resistance. So... The more receptive you, you get, the less resistance you have. 
okay? Something with the, uh, with an earth sign. So take that how it resonates. Okay, we have a person of earth, uh, but this could also just represent you. You becoming more tapped in, tuned in um, here in the 3D. And then we have master, which is Capricorn. So some of you are becoming masters of your intuition. You're becoming mystics. You're becoming alchemists, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so this is discipline, working smart, focused, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcome, Controlled, learning a skill in a more in the flow. Again, flowing, authoritarian, commanding presence. Okay, so I love this for you, um, Gemini's. I feel like this is going to be very specific, though. All right, but hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.